Hello, this is Kevin here for AdRonin, and in today's quick tutorial, what I'm going to do is break down a lead generation campaign that I set up on Facebook and Instagram for the Nutra guys. Essentially, what we're doing with this campaign is we are going to be targeting teachers in one ad set and then in another ad set we're going to be targeting first responders i'm going to give you a quick walkthrough tell you you know why certain parts are are important to the campaign and how you can do the same in your business so without any further ado let's get into the tutorial okay so we are going to start off by going to facebook.business.com backslash ads manager. So what this is going to do is give us access to all of the back end of Facebook, all of the good targeting, all of the clicks and everything that people have been doing for the last 15 years. This is where you find access to it. So when we get into it, the largest area of our campaign is called the campaign level. So at this campaign level, we are campaign. Uh, for this actual campaign, what we are trying to do is get people to sign up for a basically a seminar or like a, a video conference call so that they can uh, position a, a high ticket offer for their potential consumers. So we name the campaign food tour by the objective. That's the second part here. So food, food tour plus lead generation and then our targeting teachers. We name uh, to just go down a little bit farther. This is not a special ad category. Uh, with our campaign details, we are using an auction campaign and our objective is lead generation. Um, this right here is the main function because we selected lead generation. We are going to be able to keep people on Facebook. Uh, this is like the you're making it more convenient for people so they will be able to, you know, basically Facebook is going to make your cost a little bit cheaper because you keep people on Facebook so they can keep spending money on Facebook. So that's basically their preference. Uh, we don't have an AB test set up, but what we did is we turned on campaign budget optimization. With this on, if we are targeting multiple different groups, teachers uh, versus first responders, or sorry, here we have teachers, men, teachers, female. Um, when we're setting it up this way, what it's going to do is just make sure whatever can, whichever ad set and video is getting us the best response, it's basically just going to show that one more often. So by doing this, we're going to maximize uh, the amount of leads that the campaign generates. Okay, the next step here is called the ad set. Now, at the ad set level, what we do is we tell Facebook and Instagram who we want to actually see this ad. For the purpose of this ad set, we are targeting teachers in Ontario, age 25 to 64, that are male. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because if you speak to people, you speak to men using certain language and women using other language, uh, you'll see when we get to the actual ad level why that's important here. Now, with our lead method, what we want is an instant form. That means when somebody presses the button on our ad, it will pop up and say, you know, please give us your name, email, phone number. Uh, scrolling down a little bit farther, what you're going to have to do is select the correct Facebook page. Now, because I just made this as our, you know, as part of our copywriting service, I don't have access to their page. Uh, but when you're setting this up in your own account, you'll be able to basically set it up however you would like. Just make sure you align the, the correct page. Uh, for this ad, moving right along, we are not using create, dynamic creative and we are not using a catalog. These are more for kind of e-com setups usually. Uh, budget, we set at the actual campaign level and the start date, uh, just you know, when you're setting it up, it will automatically go to that day's date and time. Uh, as we're going down a little bit farther here, we get to our audiences. Now at the audience level, we have, we started off with the first selection you have is locations. What we want is people living in this location, right? If somebody's visiting from Vancouver or Mumbai or Tokyo or whatever, they don't need to see this ad once they go home. So we need them people living in this location. Uh, scrolling right down, 
25 to 64. That's our age group. You can see that here because we put it in the actual ad set name and we are targeting men with this ad. Uh, to go down here, we have our detail targeting. Now, you'll see this. Basically, we have the choice here between demographics, job titles. Uh, I feel like to target teachers, that's the easiest way to do it. So what we did is just type in here, teacher, or sorry, teacher, and something is going to pop up. You'll see we have a bunch of different selections, uh, but if you look at the side here, it either says interest, job title, employers. What we're looking for is a job title, right? Because we're trying to get real teachers, not people that are interested in teaching related stuff or, or other, you know, they might be in school, uh, they might be researching stuff for their own kids or something like that. So we don't want to use interest-based targeting. What we want to use here is demographic-based targeting with the job title of teacher. And if you go through here, there's a whole bunch of different types of teachers. We could actually probably even get more in here. Uh, if we look over here, we have an estimated audience size of 4,300. I feel like this is probably a little small, but if you'll see here, if we change it over to women, that bumps our number up to, you know, almost 20,000. So a total of 25,000. It still seems a little bit low for this ad set to tell you the truth. Uh, so we can go ahead and just stack more teacher related job titles or interests. This thing here is really, really powerful. Uh, but essentially we have that in there. This is how we are going to uh, target teachers. So you know, generally we have 19,000 plus another four. I'll, I'll probably get another 10,000 people in here later. 35,000 people to target with this ad set is, is probably just about right. Uh, moving down a little bit farther, you will see it, we get to the placement section. In our placement section, you have the choice of automatic. That means they, Facebook puts it everywhere possible, trying to basically use its algorithm to get you the cheapest price. We have chosen manual placements. Uh, and then you'll see in our actual setup, we only want it to show up in the Facebook newsfeed and the Instagram newsfeed. Why? Location, location, location. This is the best real estate. This is where it's going to get the most chances at it. Uh, so we set it up there. Let me actually take out this in-stream video. We don't need that. And then even our search will take out. So really we just want the two. Now, as we keep going down, you see we are optimization and delivery. We are optimized for leads. The other option here would be conversion leads. So this is essentially gonna be on your website. So leads this way is the form, conversion leads. Uh, it's, you can set up you know, different actions you'd like people to take. Uh, and then that is our ad set level. So once again, campaign level, you tell the campaign what it is that you want to do. We want to generate leads. At our ad set level, we ask or we tell Facebook who we want to put this ad in front of. And finally, at our ad level, what we do is put the actual content in that our potential users will see. Uh, right off the top here, we name it according to the video they're going to see. Uh, the video is called Food Tour. Uh, it's teachers and a video. To go down, I have us set up as, you know, this is the Ad Ronin page. So this is where we're getting uh, the errors here. Uh, but essentially, keep going down. All you have to do is you assign it to the correct Instagram page so that we'll get views there. For the purpose of this ad, we're using a single image or video ad. And to go down here, we get to media. At the media level, you can come in here and just press change video. Essentially what this will let you do is this is where you upload your video. At this level of the video, it gives you a bunch of useful options. Uh, what we're going to choose here is our thumbnail. We're going to select a, a manual thumbnail. Um, here, I'll choose this one. Now yeah, we'll choose this one. So this is just an ad Ronin video that I uploaded 
uh, rather than you know put their video out where everybody can see it you also have the option of adding closed captions at this step this is a super super useful step the video that I've uploaded has no text so it's kind of unneeded after we have our video uploaded you see here that's playing the next thing that we are going to do is we throw in the primary text this is the description that shows up on an ad see here it's just above uh, actually looking at this this is the ad copy for the male teachers so instead of doing the miss 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 we have to change that out to you sir 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 and that's why we target men and women differently and the reason we do this is I don't know when the last time you were in school this was the way that high school students in Ontario basically got their teachers attention from the back of the class uh, anyways we go through here we read all of this ad copy this is what they bought in our ad Ronin store uh, we made a video and optimized ad copy for them this is what we believe is the best way that they can actually connect with new customers um, so we gave them two two versions of this ad copy as well as five different headlines I've just copied and pasted this from the delivery package here so from our farm to your table that's a headline headline is absolutely massive like when you look at an ad this is the way it comes up on your timeline the first thing that's going to get your attention is the ad creative after that you're going to look at the headline and if the headline seems right you'll read the ad copy so basically that's the order of operations as we're focusing on stuff um, and that's why we use scroll stopping videos they are basically 15 to 30 seconds of high high quality stuff that gets you interested in what's going on uh, finally to go down here we chose a description so the description is what shows up under here this is just another extra piece of content that might catch somebody's eye so it's best practice to use it our call to action I used learn more um, you have a lot of choices here I like learn more because it's not as committal as like sign up now you know learn more is generally everybody's okay with that it's not too firm um, and then here what you would need to do is create a lead form again we have all the questions attached to the ad copy sheet but a lead form essentially is going to look like this so when somebody presses the learn more button this will pop open and people will see it please tell us who is requesting more information about our offer first name last name email and phone number then they would press next they now become a lead uh, so we have our correct lead form attached then we click here to attach a website pixel that way we can retarget people who visit our websites who've taken specific actions all good stuff and once everything is set up I'm gonna turn this off just so it doesn't start spending money on my demo video uh, and then we press publish so what I did on the first time is I went to food tour at the ad set level these three buttons and then I press duplicate uh, duplicate essentially let it let me instead of building out everything again I was able to just click here duplicate it then produced the same ad set with the same video and the only change I made is instead of targeting men I switched it to women so then the ad text was miss 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 so that's basically the whole setup that we needed so anyways uh, start to finish that's how we set up a Facebook lead ad uh, if you have any questions how to set up a lead ad where you're targeting teachers uh, business owners anything like that just let me know down below in the comments uh, if you are looking for ad copy that converts for you a video that's actually going to result in you getting new business feel free to visit adronin.com backslash shop uh, and see all of the amazing stuff and if you have any questions just like I said let us know down below in the comments thank you and take care